Sister Wives Cody Brown's feud with kids won't be resolved anytime soon for this specific reason. And Janelle Brown emotionally honors Garrison on his 26th birthday. Also how the Brown family's most heartbreaking experiences change their lives. I will explain everything. Watch this video until end. Hey lovely viewers. Welcome to my 2S gossip channel. Cody Brown from Sister Wives will have a hard time reconciling with his estranged kids after Garrison Brown's death due to a heartbreaking reason. Sister Wives fans can't expect a reconciliation between Cody Brown and his children for quite a while. Cody and Janelle's son, Robert Garrison Brown, died in apparent suicide at the age of 25 in March 2024. Fans of the reality TV show watched Garrison and his siblings grow up on TV over the years. Cody's four marriages and the lives of his 18 children were documented on Sister Wives since 2010, but recent seasons also focused on Cody's estrangement from Garrison and his brother Gabriel. Cody wanted Garrison and Gabe to cease their social lives during the pandemic. Sister Wives star Cody Brown's kids won't be letting him back into their lives for a long time. A source told U.S. Sun about Cody's mental state after his son's passing. Cody is not okay at all. He's retreated entirely, the source informed the publication. Cody and Garrison were, still estranged, before his death. They, never made up. The source claimed, it's going, to take even more work for Cody to fix the damage he's done. Cody's sons and his other kids are supposedly not going to respond to him because they have just lost a loved one. As for the insider, Cody himself is not even thinking about the chances of him reconciling with his children because he's still processing Garrison's death and is grieving the loss of his son. Meanwhile, Cody's current state of mind is reportedly causing issues with his marriage with Robin. He's just in a very dark place right now. Cody apparently gets into dark places when he feels upset. According to the publication, the reality TV veteran is really depressed right now. A police report obtained by the publication allegedly reveals that Janelle told the cops about Cody and Garrison's estrangement. Janelle informed the officers about Cody and Garrison's estranged relationship, as a part of the investigation into his sudden death. Meanwhile, Cody has supposedly put up a wall. He is internalizing his feelings. Cody wants to focus more on himself, and he wants to move on. However, the source doesn't think that Cody and Robin will ever divorce unless Cody manages to push her out by continuing what he is doing. Cody just retreats and when he gets upset. The source claims that Cody then starts blaming Robin for his problems. He is behaving this way with Robin, right now. Cody is a father of 18 kids, and he used to be close to his sons he shares with. Janelle. However, Cody started spending less time with them once he married Robin. Cody's sudden change in behavior created a rift between him and his family. Garrison and Gabriel were not talking to Cody. They clashed with him over the difficult protocols he'd implemented during COVID-19. During an episode of Sister Wives, Janelle had mentioned how Garrison seemed sadder amid the family tensions due to the pandemic precautions, and he wasn't as happy-go-lucky as he used to be. Sister Wives star Janelle Brown celebrates late son Robert Garrison Brown's first posthumous birthday with a heart-wrenching tribute video. Sister Wives star Janelle Brown is remembering her son Robert Garrison Brown on what would have been his 26th birthday. Garrison was the son of Cody Brown and Janelle who died via an apparent suicide in March 2024 at the age of 25. Garrison was found dead in his flagstaff, Arizona, home by his brother Gabriel. Garrison has been seen in past episodes of the reality TV show since Sister Wives season 1 in 2010. Garrison and his father Cody had been estranged for some time. Meanwhile, Janelle has been having a difficult time with the loss of her son. It's hard to believe you aren't here anymore. Janelle posted a throwback video of Garrison on Instagram to honor him on his birthday. The Instagram reel showed Garrison feeling shy as he was asked to blow out the candles on his homemade cake. Janelle also added a throwback photo, with little Garrison looking fondly at his spider cake, which Janelle seemed to have baked for him. She also added a picture of Garrison holding his birthday gift from that year, a LEGO Star Wars Republic gunship building kit. Happy birthday sweetheart, Janelle wrote in her caption. She wrote that everyone was missing him terribly on his birthday. 
Janelle shared how they talked a lot about Garrison on his special day and even went to his favorite place, Texas Roadhouse, for dinner. I still feel you nearby sometimes, she added. Janelle wrote that she hoped she would see her son again when her journey is completed. Several Sister Wives fans reached out to Janelle to offer their kind words of condolence. They wrote that while they were all strangers to her, she should know they had kept her in their prayers. It never gets easier but you learn to live with it. Instagram user the real Queen of Versailles, who is Queen of Versailles star Jackie Siegel, asked Janelle to feel free to reach out to her if she needed anything. Sister Wives viewers wished Garrison a happy birthday. They commented on his warm smile, which was indicative of the kind of person he was and how he captured many hearts and touched many lives during his lifetime. Janelle's emotional video montage moved her followers. Her sentimental message for her child made Sister Wives fans cry thinking about how much Janelle must be hurting. Janelle was the first to make the news public on social media in a joint statement with Cody. The former couple asked fans to respect their privacy and to join them in honoring their late son's memory. Three days after his death, Janelle had shared a photo of her with all six children, their respective spouses, and their kids gathered together for Christmas. The Sister Wives star was grateful that everyone had made time to spend the holiday season together, despite their busy lives. It was the last time Janelle got to be with her entire family. The stars of Sister Wives have been through some wrenching experiences. They've changed after life-altering tragedies that were so painful. Sister Wives stars have lived with so much heartache, including the tragic passing of a sweet and caring person, Garrison Brown. His death was shocking and sad, some viewers watched him grow up on screen. While fans are emotionally invested, those who knew him and loved him are hurting the most. Sister Wives has been airing for 18 seasons. Some brown kids have become adults, while others are still quite young. Their parents have loved and lost. Before Garrison died, grief touched the life of one cast member, Mary Brown. The pandemic also cast a long, dark shadow, pulling family members apart. So much has happened and painful experiences have impacted the lives of the series' stars, shaping their personal growth. Garrison's life ended at the young age of 25. The beloved Sister Wives star took his own life on March 5, 2024. Since that tragedy, the entire family has been reeling. The pain must be unbearable, and Janelle, Garrison's mother, has said that it's been hard to heal. Garrison was troubled, he had problems with alcohol and an ex. In the past, he'd feuded with his father, Cody, sadly, they were estranged when he passed away. This type of tragedy is going to leave lasting psychological scars on the people who loved Garrison, as he meant so much to everyone. Who knew him? Cody and Janelle's son was a kind person who wanted to become a nurse. Garrison's compassionate spirit led him to rescue a cat from euthanasia shortly before he passed away. The feline's name is Ms. Buttons. Now, Janelle and Cody must face life as the parents of a deceased child. It's a nightmare outcome that no one saw coming. They will need to dig deep to move forward. Janelle is bravely honoring her son online, even though some trolls leave rude comments on the posts. In general, fans are there for her. She was in the process of rebuilding her life after divorce when she lost her son. Living with money problems was hard enough without this. Janelle is strong and she will get through this, but it won't be easy. Her children will be there for her and so will her good friend, Sister Wives Christine Brown. Fans who want to help her can support Janelle's businesses. Meanwhile, Cody and Robin are probably re-examining some of their choices. They have prioritized one another in the past, now, they may want to branch out by healing rifts in the family. In particular, Cody's feuds with his children should be resolved. Bonnie passed away at the age of 76. She died in March 2021. Mary now honors her mother at her bed and breakfast, Lizzie's Heritage Inn. The home features a lot of details about Mary's family, and celebrates several generations of strong women who came before her. When she lost her mother, Mary had to embrace a new way of living. The passing of a parent means the loss of love, emotional support and a sounding board. Nothing can replace this kind of priceless love. In March 2022, Mary paid tribute to her mother, as seen above.
The death of a parent is a terrible experience that really tests a person. Mary was devoted to her mother, Bonnie. Mary is now 53, and she thinks of her mother often. She believes that Bonnie and Garrison have been reunited in heaven. In a recent Instagram post, Janelle said that her, Faith, was helping her as she came to terms with her son's death. Mary's Christian beliefs may also give her strength when she needs it the most. The pandemic was a worldwide crisis that claimed lives. Even when people stayed healthy, they often felt uneasy or even paranoid. It was such a strange time in modern history, when all the systems that people relied on to feel secure weren't enough to keep them safe. Once there were vaccines, a lot of the fear evaporated. However, during the peak, fear, phase, Cody was hypervigilant. He chose to sequester himself with Robin. That didn't make Cody a bad person. Plenty of people were doing the same thing. If Cody's critics are honest, they might admit that they did pretty much the same. The problem is that Cody had 18 children by four different wives. When he decided to spend the pandemic with Robin, who would respect his strict virus avoidance rules when other wives wouldn't, he sent a clear message about his priorities. Quite possibly, Cody's, other, wives and kids felt like he was using the pandemic as an excuse to live with Robin and avoid everyone else. Cody's favoritism was always clear. It was an open secret that was ultimately the catalyst for the family's downfall. When one person is favored, those who don't have that kind of power tend to get angry. They may not express it publicly for a while, but the resentment inside of them simmers under the surface. Also, people just felt lonely, non-Robin wives and kids too. That's what's saddest about this. These people just wanted some love and attention. The kids miss their father. The wives who were on their own wouldn't have minded having a man around to help out with things. Instead, they had to do everything themselves. This toughens people up, and Janelle's harsher attitude in season 18 was really a front for all the sadness and loneliness she was feeling inside. Cody, isn't always the most sensitive person, but he surely meant no harm. He probably wanted to protect his family. Everyone has their own point of view, of course he didn't think he was being a villain. Of course, he loves his children, even if his feelings about his ex-wives aren't quite as warm and fuzzy. If he'd had a way of knowing what Garrison was going through, he would have made different choices. No one wanted this to happen. Everyone loved Garrison. Isabel Brown is Cody, and Christine's daughter, and she's currently 20 years old. For years, she lived with a painful condition, scoliosis. This health issue causes a range of symptoms, including, as per Mayo Clinic, lower back pain, discomfort and numbness that radiates along one leg, weakness in one leg while the person is hunched over. To ease her pain, Isabel needed an operation. The procedure was booked at a hospital out of town during the pandemic. Cody wasn't willing to travel, he wouldn't be with his daughter at the hospital. He cited fears about COVID-19 as the reason why. Christine was the one who was with Isabel during that important time. Christine said any COVID-19 fears she had aside for the sake of her child. Cody got so much backlash because of his choice. It made a lot of people angry. Cody's, bad dad, reputation was founded on stuff like this, but again, he may have felt that he was doing what was best for his daughter, Christine, and society. What's interesting, is that Cody's son Peden Brown, from whom he's estranged, said that Cody chose not to get vaccinated when COVID-19 vaccines were available. Isabel probably had some dark thoughts when she realized that her dad wouldn't be with her. She seemed hurt during the scene shown on Sister Wives. It must be so strange for the kids to have some of these scenes filmed. Watching them later, after losing Garrison, must be especially wrenching. Family problems can be so real and raw, when they're exposed to the world, it adds a new layer of complication. Thanks for watching this video. What do you think about this video told on comment box and subscribe your channel.